Hey everyone, this is Jack G and these are my hobbies. Pretty excited to talk to you about my latest purchase. This is the Benchmade Mini Bugout. It is the 533-BK1, BK standing for the blackened blade here, which we'll get to. And the scales, obviously, I have changed. But before we get into all of that and the comparisons and the seven Cs, which let's just show you those real quick. I don't know if you've heard me talk about these, but this is a criteria that I go through when I decide if I'm gonna buy a knife and one of the C's is for comparison to my other knives in my collection. And do I look for like a lightweight or a, I don't know, corrosion resistant knife to round out my collection. Cost, obviously, which is more about the value. Coolness, do I think it's cool? Can I customize it or is it customizable or can I purchase it with other options? The cut, which I'll talk about around the blade, the style, etc. And of course, carry for EDC and kind of how it carries in the pocket. And then kind of my conclusion, the final C, which is do I purchase it or do I pass? So I'm going to go through each one of those Cs. And before I get to all of those here, I want to let you know that I'm at about 186 subscribers. And I really thank you for your support and patronage. But I need help. To be perfectly honest, until you get to about 1,000 subscribers in the YouTube world, uh, it's really hard to continue going. So I'd like to keep going and ask for your help and maybe mention me to a friend on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram on Jack G Hobbies or on Facebook. And obviously, if you can tell some people to subscribe and as an incentive, I'm going to give away some more knives. I'm going to be giving away the Cricut CRKT Pilar that I talked about before. I'm going to be giving away uh, a Kershaw, the Entropy, which you've seen in my previous um, videos, but wait for it. Don't leave yet. The Cricut. This is a limited edition. Check it out. Is that cool or what? And I'm trying some new lighting here again, so hopefully it's not uh, a little too crazy, but this is a limited edition tuna. Uh, special shout out to Peter, who's just been an amazing friend and frankly i'm blown away by his uh kindness <laughs> he sent me this and he said hey if you want to do a review on it that would be great it's a limited edition it's called the tuna and it's a beautiful knife and he said look if you want to keep it keep it and if you'd like give it away to your subscribers and if i can hit a thousand subscribers i'm going to do a drawing and you can own for free this limited edition, in fact, here, let's just see. Right there, I think it's 83 of 250. So look, 250 of these were made. It's beautiful, it's titanium, G10 scale here. And here you can see it's a CPM 35VN steel. So it's beautiful, a little blackened blade there. Gorgeous, nice, nice deep carry pocket clip that doesn't say CRKT on the clip. Thank you so much, Cricut. And you can see um, that this was a, um, a beautiful design collaboration uh, as well. So it's titanium, just a gorgeous knife. So help me get to a thousand subscribers, please. And we'll do a drawing for this in addition to the other two knives that I talked about. So let's put this aside. Let's jump right into this mini bug out. You can kind of see in comparison to the sizes of the regular bug outs that I have here. The reason that I have all these bug outs, including the mini bug out here, is that originally uh, this bug out, before I replaced it with the aluminum scales here, which I really like. See my uh, other videos on that. And of course the uh, stone wash finish from uh, Knives Plus, which I really like, and the titanium screws from Knives Plus. I've obviously replaced the scales that a lot of people don't like, the plastic scales, but they are light, and so that's why people like them. And uh, I've replaced these, and I have replaced uh, these scales from this gray mini bug out, and obviously I've, uh, from Adrian, uh, replaced the titanium screws. You can see my reviews on that, but kind of give you an idea of before and after. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And these are the G10 scales from Putnam. 
I uh, love this deep pocket carry, but this is really about the mini bug out. And in comparison, size wise, you can kind of get a feel size wise to the, oops, sorry, my bad, uh, size mini to the, to the standard bug out. I'll talk about the customizations that I've done here. Uh, blade stock, it is obviously a little bit thinner. Let's see if we can get you a little bit of a view here. Yeah, a little bit thinner, obviously. It's about a 2.8 inch blade, so it is definitely smaller. Um, and we'll talk about this a little bit more. Okay, so let's move this aside on the comparisons and talk about this knife really quick. It originally came out, this is uh, what a lot of people call the Stormtrooper model. It's a uh, black hardware, right? Black spacers there with white, which is really quite beautiful. Uh, I like it a lot, but the carbon fiber Rogue Blade Work scales, which are not uh, inexpensive, uh, I managed to purchase and put on this, which I'm super happy about because I wanted to keep the weight down. Um, it's one of the reasons why I bought this. So that's why I went with the uh, carbon fiber scales and I think it turned out really good. So that's some of the comparisons, both in terms of, you know, size to a regular bug out. Let's uh, get some of this out of the way. Maybe compare it to say the mini griptilian, just to give you an idea in size. So a little bit smaller in the handle, blade length, obviously just a little bit smaller than the uh, mini grip. And in case you don't have many Benchmades, let's just compare it real quick to the Ontario Rat 2. So it gives you an idea. Blade-wise, it's, you know, usable blade length, um, edge. It's pretty close, honestly. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. So cost, I want to say this was around $136, I think. Uh, I bought it on Amazon. You can get it on Blade, Blade HQ and other places. Kind of clean up this mess here so we can get some more details around here. Um, replacing the scales was pretty much the, as far as the C for customizable, replacing the scales was pr very similar to replacing the scales on the mini, on the regular bug out. So you can see my videos on that and get some information. There's a link in there to a PDF that kind of walks you through um, replacing everything. Uh, one thing that I would say in the C for a little jimping here, which is really nice, uh, really nice lightweight knife you'll see in the pocket here in a minute uh, that I really like. I used the, uh, as far as customizing, these are actually titanium screws th that were from um, the regular bug out. And so they fit very well in here. They don't go too deep. Uh, in the scales, so just to let you know, you can use regular bug out hardware on these scales. Love that blade, uh, very low profile. You know, it's not going to catch any light when you take it out of your pocket, so um, very nice. I have medium sized glove hands, so you can see it fits pretty darn well. I was surprised, I thought it would be too small. I was a little concerned about it fitting in the hand. Uh, it fits really nice. You're, and gets right up on there with just a little bit of jimping here, which is nice. Uh, you can, you know, do fine work reaching up here. Uh, it's a little thin, you can see with my finger here, uh, fairly flat grind, uh, pretty thin behind the edge, which is really nice. So it's quite a good slicer, you know, for around the office and such. I was a little concerned about the um, scales here, whether or not I would get a uh, grip or not, but it, actually they work out really well uh, in hand. Um, so that this kind of like chamfering here, indentation, if you can kind of see that, uh, fits really well. I really like it. And with the pocket clip, with the uh, short pocket clip, the deep carry clip, uh, it fits really well in hand. Um, very nice fit. I mean, really good. See, not, fingers aren't really coming off the back much at all. If you had bigger hands, maybe. Okay, so we did the comparison, C for comparison, C for cost. We talked about 136. You're going to add a little bit more money, obviously, if you add these scales. Some people think I'm crazy. But the way I look at it is that the value for this knife uh, with the Benchmade warranty, it's a lifetime warranty, so I'll probably keep this forever. It has good S30V 
blade steel. So that's gonna last a good long time. Have no problem with that at all. Uh, I like the coating so there's less, uh, more corrosion resistance. Um, I thought the scales were a nice upgrade aside from just looking beautiful. I mean, see what you think of that. Give me your comments on that. It's carbon fiber, they did such a good job. The other thing that I really liked about it, especially compared to the scales that it comes with, and hopefully you can see this, it's really hard to see, but I don't know if you can see how thin, it's kind of plastic or grivery, whatever you wanna call it here. Um, see how thin it gets here, right up at the screw? I was a little, and that, that's up in this area here. I was a little concerned that would like break through at some point in time. Uh, the nice thing about these Rogue scales is they're a little bit thicker in here and they fit nicely. They're a little hard to kind of get on and get quite right, uh, but the action is really good. Check it out, right? Like it's, the, the action is much better on deploy than I think with these scales. And, you know, I've got it pretty dialed in for free dropping, obviously. Uh, great detent, uh, just, beautiful works 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 beautifully i am really happy about this and uh, it's going to be super lightweight i'm wearing shorts now with the summer and having this in my pocket i don't even notice it at all when i take my walks so anyway uh cost you know you're going to spend a little bit more if you want to go a little bit higher end obviously on the scales i think they're worth it coolness oh my gosh is this super cool or what i mean look at that with the carbon fiber i'm going to plan on keeping this forever so over the lifetime, the amount of money that I spend on this, I think is well worth it, right? The cut, we talked about a little bit. It is a drop point, it's a beautiful blade, a little bit of swedge here, uh, thin behind the edge, uh, S30V steel, um, decent blade stock. I mean, it is thin, you know, it's not like razor thin, but this will hold up quite well. I'm not worried about that. Of course, with the access lock, that's awesome. Uh, carry as well. Let's take a look at it. A couple of these in the pocket. Uh, and this is really where I think this shines, obviously, because it's so lightweight. But let's just uh, take a look at this in the pocket. You know how I like deep pocket carries. Uh, so let's just slide this in there real quick. Um, I did make this a little bit more tension-wise. Okay, look at that, right? I mean, nobody's ever going to notice that. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's in the pocket as far as the carry goes. So in conclusion, uh, would I, should I, uh, would you buy this? Uh, should you buy this? I think so. I think it's a beautiful knife. It's really lightweight in hand. Uh, it just flies out as you would expect. This um, contouring sort of chamfering here is just beautifully done. There's chamfering up in here. Um, it's just a joy to hold. There's no hot spots at all on this. Um, and it's just fun. <laughs> it's fun to flick all day long. Uh, and it'll be great for, uh, you know, kind of a gentleman's carry, lightweight carry. Uh, so there you go. So this is the mini bug out. And really happy with that purchase. Just to give you an idea, kind of in comparison again to um, the bug out with these other scales. Hope you enjoyed this. And please sub like, subscribe, tell other people. And we'll do a uh, giveaway for this beautiful limited edition. Thanks again, Peter. I'm just blown away. I've seen other um, YouTube um, reviewers and such have people donate uh, knives to them to give away. And I, I, I never did get it. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just literally just, uh, speechless <laughs> to have uh, such a great gift. I, I just don't know what to say. Um, so anyway, thank you so much. And mahalo. Stay well, everybody, during these challenging times. Be kind to others. And we'll talk to you later.